good? Yeah, you're good. All right. Well, I'm Brian Sharp with the Democrat and Chronicle. We are inside Sibley Square uh, right now, Sibley Building. Um, we're on the sixth floor. I'm with Frank Frieda of Wind Development. They're the ones overseeing the uh, $200 million uh, repurposing, redevelopment of this building. And Jim Sinal with High Tech Rochester. And this is going to be their space. They bought this space for $7.8 million. They're so planning a $4 million renovation. It's going to include private offices. Uh, it, well, I mean, High Tech Rochester is an incubator for startups. Um, and they'll have private office space, uh, desk space, and a, a shared, uh, probably in a collaboration zone, I believe, um, wet labs, and auditorium. Um, why don't I, I'll just turn it over to Jim, and he can talk a little bit about just what we're going to see today. Great. Thanks, Brian. Um, so you're, we're standing right now, obviously, under construction, but in the new heart of tech startup entrepreneurship in our community. And the vision was we need a hub for tech startups. We need to create more companies from technology-based entrepreneurs, create more jobs in the community. And after a lengthy search, we found the city building as really the ideal place geographically and also that had a floor plan that we could build out to really serve those entrepreneurs and all those needs. So that's where we're here today. Um, we purchased the floor in June of this year. Um, and since then have been off to the races and starting to build it out. As you said, we've got a number of different amenities planned uh, to help support those startup companies from open co-working space to private offices to a prototyping lab, an auditorium for events, wet labs, coaches and mentors on site, you name it, everything under one roof is in the model. And we're excited to show you today. And so what you're going to see for those who are tuning in trying to orient themselves, uh, we the sixth floor is where the tea room restaurant used to be. We are actually back in what was the kitchen area uh, for that space. So we're going to walk through that. That's going to take us by what will be uh, the cafeteria space, the auditorium space, and then we'll go into the old tea room. You'll see that. And then we will head out onto the rooftop, which is also you have about 10,000 square feet, I think it is, up there for event space uh, and you'll get uh, a pretty cool view of downtown that a lot of people maybe haven't seen. And so we'll just start heading over. We'll, we'll take a quick look. We have some of the photos here they brought up uh, of what we're going to be seeing if if this is done. So you can sort of start putting the the skin on the, on the bones here, so to speak. So really throughout the floor. Back here we've got a lot of private offices, but this space in particular, which is right now wide open, is going to be the future prototyping lab. So 3D printers and tools and electronics equipment. So as we have startup companies that have an idea for a new product, the key is how do you get that into some physical form that you could show a customer or show an investor. And that's what this space is going to be. Um, and we found that that's hugely important for entrepreneurs to get their idea across to be able to show it to somebody. And so we're excited to have this highly visible right off the front entryway um, and really, again, a hub of activity for people needing to build that first prototype. So that's the first thing people will see when they get off our elevators is this activity and cool stuff going on. Um, next kind of is you, as you come this way, this is one of the central gathering parts of the floor. This is going to become our kitchen and cafe area. So again, a gathering spot, an intersection spot, three collisions happening. But you see kind of some of the artist rendition. It's the usual stuff, coffee and water and snacks, but also informal meeting spaces. When we have a mentor that comes in from outside to work with one of our companies, they might just grab a table, grab a cup of coffee, have meetings, uh, meeting people from the community coming in and having meetings. So really this is almost uh, the Starbucks atmosphere, but for this floor for entrepreneurs to get their support and services. We'll continue around here. Uh, again, we're in Sibley's sixth floor. Um, we're with Frank Frieda of Wind Development and Jim Snall of uh, High Tech Rochester. And Frank, you guys have been in here full speed since December. You bought the building in November of 2012. Um, full construction started in December. Full construction. And you were talking about just how many people are employed all the areas that you're working on, all the different trades that are in the building are probably averaging 150 to 250 a day um, from all the trades in the building coming through and in and out. Um, 7 through 12 right now are under construction with apartments starting to come online on 10-1. Um, and then the second floor, which we'll go down to after this, um, is under full construction that we have demoed out the whole floor of the old food court and we're creating um, some offices and vanilla boxes 
and a new entryway from the sky bridges for everybody to be able to get into the building um, and flow much better than it did. And how has this been to, to take what was a department store and turn it into you know, a high-tech incubator space or office space or apartments in what used to be offices? So the great thing about this building was um, it's built that it can never fall down. <laughs> the other thing is they put state equipment in back in the 1900s, but the bad news is to get the parts for that stuff is no longer around. So it has to be custom made. So we are really putting a whole new infrastructure inside out from electric to heat to air conditioning. And we got it in different phases for the apartments and the commercial, so nobody's sharing anything. They all you know, have their own. 9 through 12 has their own HVAC, 7 and 8 have their own HVAC system, and 1 through 6 in the atrium has their own HVAC, which high tech rosters tapped into the commercial end of the And from our perspective, a building of this magnitude is a huge department store. The size of the floor plates are what is really unique for us. So 40,000, 60,000, 100,000 square feet on one floor. When you go to Boston and New York and California and you look at state of the art incubator and accelerator spaces, as much as you can get on one floor, um, to have those interaction solutions, that's appealing. And so that was a big thing for us. Um, and this is the turnaround here. Uh, we are in an active construction zone, so we're trying to yeah, talk loud noise, enough guys. for people to sit here. <laughs> this is going to be your auditorium? That's right. So we have an auditorium here, which hopefully you can envision, but this big open space can seat probably 120 people. And moldings that were damaged up here have been restored to historic standards um, throughout to make sure we matched and kept the historic aspect of the building. Um, the windows are all historic and all windows have are being replaced throughout the building, which there's 2,800 windows throughout the Sibley building that are being replaced uh, historically. You were saying those are all yeah. historic and custom. Yes. So you'll, people driving by have probably seen, you'll see them right now if you drive by on Main Street. Guys up in the windows hammering, uh, Correct. literally Correct. building the frame yep. in place. Correct. And this uh, this is going to stay, yep. Jim, you were saying yep. this whole, you probably put the, the copiers behind yep. there. And, that is a and historic piece. It's, it's an amazing piece. Um, that will stay here uh, in the room. I mean, this room is really amazing. It's a gem. And this room is going to be filled with entrepreneurs, open concept desks. Um, we've got some renderings and we have some things online. Um, but maybe 60 or so desks in here, people working on their businesses, usually earlier stage, and software companies will tend to be in these kind of spaces. But again, that open feeling, you, know, you look at the size of the ceilings and the moldings, it's just one of a kind. I ate once. Elevator, and it was actually it was actually a private elevator for this floor, and it only came to here, and it had an operator on it that brought you up, and then you could have lunch. It was lunch when I came up here. I didn't never dinner, but lunch once. And it's been tough to find historical photos of this. Yes, to I, do. We have not found any historical photos of this room yet. We're, we've been looking. So if you're watching, if you have some family photos, know of some, send them to us, we'll get them here. And, you know, I, I know you guys have really tried to keep to that historical feel. You've had reunions with people. Yes. What, I'm assuming you'll do and a photo and whatnot. We're gonna, we've collected stuff from people and we have them packed away and safe um, and hopefully to put display. Because this was really, a lot of people think of uh, and I knew Midtown. I've been here 12 years, and I, you know, I knew Midtown was at the tail end. But that's a million square feet. This is a million square feet. A million point one. A million point one. <laughs> so, bigger. a little bigger. I um, believe we're the largest in Monroe County now. And to do a tour of this place, that's why we're sort of focusing here on this space, uh, at the second floor, which became the food court. Um, and I posted some pictures you'll see in the story, or if you go to the Twitter feed, at S-H-A-R-P-R-O-C, um, has some photos from this morning, I think it was, of the apartments. Those are going to be finishing up. The, the first renters start moving in in October. Yes. Um, 26 apartments, and then every three weeks you're turning over 26 more. We're going to get to 104 market rate apartments, 72 
affordable senior units uh, in that tower by the end of, end of the year. Of the year, and by the end of the year, this is when we started talking. We were talking yesterday that this started out where they were talking about two hundred million dollars. This could be a five, ten year project. I guess right. emphasis on the ten. And you're going to come out of the, you're going to start twenty eighteen with just three floors, basically the, the MCC the atrium space. Will fill up and redo a little bit. There's still a hundred and four thousand square floor plates on three and four and five. Yeah. So that it's sounds not like, like not much. When I say three, four, and five, it's still a lot. Apartments and um, people back in the building. Let's take a look at just sort of sure. what this room is going to become. Yeah, so as we mentioned, open concept desks, entrepreneurs building their companies, um, you know, might look something like this. Uh, we're still picking out final furniture pieces, but um, hopefully, moving in by the first of the year in a few months, this room will be full of people building these kind of companies and working. Space that's collaborative, as you can see. So there's breakout areas where they can have meetings and talk about their companies. There's the private desk areas. There's some standing conference room type spaces. So the reason for that is because it's a historic room. We want to keep the historic. We can't build real walls to the ceiling and stuff and change this room. But we're allowed to make. That's and correct. everything, all the molding everything and, stays and, and all that. The ceilings yep. will be filled back into its right what it was. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you see on the ceiling some of what uh, Frank was talking about of having to go back in with the sprinklers, sprinkler, new sprinkler system, new fire system, new electrical. Yeah, so we're keeping the historic, we're bringing it up to code. So, um, Mike, thanks for answering the question. Somebody was asking if we were in the tea room. So, yes, yes we, are we are in the tea room of the old Sibley's. Let me just, I got to remember store. to refresh everybody. We're I know. <laughs> Frank Frieda of Wind Development. I'm Brian Sharp with the DNC, and this is Jim Sinal with High Tech Rochester. High Tech Rochester is Ben and Henrietta, Correct. right? Yeah. Uh, but has had a temporary space down on the third floor uh, since last November. They're moving up to this space here, the old tea room, and, and all of the sixth floor bought the space. Back in June, they're doing a four million dollar renovation, um, and it's going to be a incubator for is to grow that. Have some private offices, lab space, auditorium space for presentations and meetings. Um, and now we're going to head toward. You also have rooftop space. Yes, yeah, rooftop space, which is uh, very appealing to a lot of folks that are interested in coming up here. Again, pretty unique. And uh, another thing that appealed to us was this space. Uh, we'll take you out there, you can see the skyline, but again, another rendering of what that might look like. It's a gathering place, so, so if people want to work outside if it's a nice day, or if you want to have events out there, or just to get out and talk to people about their companies. Um, it's just another gathering space. Again, I've said it a million times, but creating those intersections and those creative collisions and just getting people together really helps stimulate more activity and entrepreneurship, and that's, again, what this space will be as well. Yeah, just a quick look at this stuff back here. Look at all the old fixtures, the doors. For those of you who've been in this building before when it was a apartment store and restaurant. Okay. So here we are <laughs> on the roof. This is gonna be uh, let's just address the one thing, um, the windstorm. If you were watching uh, when we were over at McCrory's, they talked about the damage to Sibley, and you can yes. talk about sort of what happened and what you're going to so do to the, what we're seeing over we there. We had the 80 miles took, lifted the parapet off and broke the anchors, so we are in preparation with engineers and everything to re-secure and everything. Um, the only difference is it takes longer is because all the copper patine on the outside of it is historic, so we have to get it made wow. back to its original um, what it looked like from the 1900s. What so, do you have to do to do that? That's, uh, that's call amazing. in a metal company and have them make it, make a stamp, and then create it again all oh, over wow. to original. And that's then work. that has to go all back up. So we've had the engineers up here, and we've come up with a plan. They're going to start to work in the next few weeks of taking this off and then start rebuilding it before winter comes. So you've comes. got to take the whole, it's not so just that section. Whole, yeah, this whole section's coming off. The engineers have are coming back next week to look at the Main Street section to make sure if there's anything we have to do with that, because we don't want another windstorm to happen again. So, right. 
Luckily we'll it fell. secure it. Yes, <laughs> right. We were correct. So this is an incredible view up here. So this is a pretty exciting view. It's always 75 and sunny out here. So that's going to appeal to a lot of our, our companies. But and it's across the from the DNC. It is right across <laughs> the DNC. So to orient people, this is the thing that's always, I think, important. You've got Midtown Tower. Yep. Uh, and the whole Midtown site right across the street. You've got 88 Elm is that building you see with some construction it looks like between the clock tower and the building. Uh, Chase Tower, the Metropolitan is over here. Yep. Uh, the Alliance building is uh, getting renovated. You see some of the windows open if you can see up and over there. You got the Hyatt down the road right next to us is of course the former Wren Square block. That's McCrory's where we were uh, the other day. So you've got a lot of investment going on right in this immediate area. Um, the biggest, of course, being the $200 million in Correct. Sibley. And, and again, this is Jim Sinal with High Tech Rochester. This is going to be their space. Frank Frieder with Wind Development, who is overseeing the construction. And as you can see over there is the tower section where the apartments are going. It's not a different building. It it's still is Sibley, building. same building. And on the 12th floor is where we put, put in a roof deck for residents to go up and oh, be right. able to have oh, um, outside events or their views or a glass of wine and sit out at night and watch. So you're gonna to want to make friends with people who live in that tower. Because the <laughs> or views are incredible. Live in that tower. Or just or live just in live that tower. tower. So we're excited. So if there's any entrepreneurs watching, uh, they should check out High Tech Rochester website if they're interested in having their company here. And if they want to live here they can just work here and walk right in. Walk over. And this is again ten thousand square feet you'll have here. Essentially the tarped area will be yep. your That'll space. Be our exclusive space, correct. I'll follow you guys. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we won't lose uh, signal again. Yeah, well, it's, you know, if we do um, drop out, we will be coming back. Okay, speaking of floors, just we gotta check out this floor here. This will be cut, right? Cleaned up. This will be just the original. This is one of the original things, yeah. Some of these rooms are very historic in here. Okay, I'm gonna move away from these guys for a second just to peek in here. Yeah, this is the original floor. Some of these rooms are very historic in here. Okay, I'm gonna move That was the ladies' room. Now we're going in the men's room. Men's lounge. <laughs> men's lounge. <laughs> oh my gosh. We don't have lounges anymore, but there's a fireplace and big beams and three windows that look out onto the rooftop patio. Uh, yeah. Pretty choice space here. <laughs> this is your office, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see. Offices Clients first. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The other thing that you'll probably see uh, if you're walk, driving by is the street project. That's separate from this. That's a project we're hoping to do in the future. Walk along there and you can see, uh, we'll show you what the, the plans are, how that's taking shape with uh, sort of the redesign of the Liberty Pole Plaza area and the whole streetscape, putting in on-street parking, trees, planters, uh, and Going various the things. Elevator, folks. So we'll see how the elevator works. Hopefully we won't lose you. <laughs> yeah. And we're heading well, down to... Well, it hasn't to... so far for the last 20 minutes today. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. On um, the signal? Ah. Uh, All right. Now the elevator. So hopefully we we'll still have everyone Going live. Down. Okay, we're back again. We lost the stream there for a second, but we wanted to show you out the window. So here we are. We're just going to finish 
finish up here so that again kind of putting yourself in this place and this will be office space private offices yeah, yeah. Um, private offices um, company whatever square footage they need will build it out to their needs um, so the views all the way around the building are great <coughs> even from one through six and um, apartments even and we're going to have to come back for the apartments you were saying on some of the northern facing ones you can see the, the lake, lake on a nice on a clear day correct um, so. But yeah, we welcome you to come back and we can take a tour of the apartments on its own um, as soon as we have some up and ready to go. Great. And yeah, so this is uh, our buildings right across the street. Uh, parcel 5 that you hear so much about is over there. Um, Midtown Tower just beyond. So we're on, uh, on Main Street. If you drive by, there's a little bit of congestion because Main Street is also getting a, a new look, uh, particularly in front of your building. So. Uh, and we'll be back probably for our next time doing this uh, is going to be walking Main Street down at around Liberty Pole and getting an idea of what all is happening there uh, and, and a little bit more of what's to come. We'll get back here and see the apartments. apartments. And again, I'm Brian Sharp. This is Frank Frieder with Web Development. Jim Sinal with High Tech Rochester. And uh, this is our second one of these under construction things, so we're getting the hang of it. Uh, a little bit and thanks for uh, for tuning in